Welcome back. I've installed the Survival Shooter project from the Acid Store and also installed Master Audio. If we hit play, we'll see we have music and sound effects. This prefab here controls the music, so we're going to delete it because we're doing it the Master Audio way. So create the Master Audio and Playlist Controller prefabs. The second one is to play the music. Then let's go ahead and create one playlist. Click add and then drag the song in or songs. We just have one. Now pick your initial playlist for your playlist controller. We only have one. Let's change the name though. We don't like it. It's not very descriptive. And when we change the name, it will lose the reference above. So we need to reselect it. Now if we hit play, we'll see the playlist controller playing the music with the jukebox on the right. So far, so good. So for the sound effects, the player has an audio source here and two audio clips. We're going to delete them. Let's delete the audio source. That clip we'll handle later when we edit that script. And then we're going to add the sound effects into Master Audio. I'm not going to use group templates. Let's drag in player death, player hurt. And go edit the script. So instead of it telling to play the audio source, we will give it master audio commands. So here we delete the audio clip variable and the audio source. Now let's go find out where it uses that. Let's replace that with master audio dot play sound and forget, which is zero bytes of garbage collection. Then we just need to use the name of the sound group which we'll copy from here. That one's done. Let's copy this line and we'll just edit the sound group name for the other sound. Down here. This one will be player death. Okay, that one's done. No more mentions of audio. Save it. There's one more audio source on the player for the gun with another audio clip. Let's delete this and set that up to work for master audio. So we'll create one more sound group with the gunshot. Now let's go edit that script. And it will use the same line we used in the other one, different sound group name. Let's delete all the audio source stuff. And here we play the sound. It's going to be player gunshot. Save it. Now let's make sure that works. Hit play. Take a look at the yellow bracketed number on the left of the mixer. That's how many voices are playing for each sound. It kind of works. If I shoot fast, I don't hear enough of the sound. If we go into the settings for player gunshot, notice it says wait instances one. That means only one can play at a time. So let's change that to six. So it'll actually create five more clones of this when we hit start and it'll be able to play six at a time. The yellow number, when it hits six, it turns red. That works fine. Now we can change the music volume here. We can change the volume of all sound effects with that slider, master mixer volume. So that's pretty cool. But now let's hook it up to a Unity 5 audio mixer. Okay, let's create an audio mixer from the menu. Give it a slightly better name. And it has a master group. Let's create a music group and a sound effects group. But sound effects is not a child of music, it's a child of master. Let's move it up. And let's put an effect on the sound effects, on all sound effects. Just for an example, let's use echo. Now let's go over and hook up master audio to the mixer. Each playlist controller there has an audio mixer group. You can assign it with the circle. 
to assign it to music. Let's close that. Now the master audio groups cannot be assigned directly, but if you make a bus, which any number of groups can be in, you can send that bus to any audio mixer group. So let's assign all three to the same bus and then assign that bus to SFX. So they will all have echo on them. And over here, group spatial blend rule, you can change all your sound effects to 3D or 2D or whatever you want. There. It's as simple as that. I've made all my sound effects 2D now. You can see everything showing up in the SFX and music group. You can hear the delay when I shoot the echo. There's one more cool thing you can do, which is snapshots. You start off with one snapshot. We're going to call it loud music. And then we'll make one more snapshot, which is quiet music. And we're just going to make the music quieter there. It just stores the level of all the sliders, basically. So loud music is the default snapshot. And I'm going to show you how to transition to another snapshot. Let's put an event sounds component on the player. And we'll just pick an event at random. Disable. This is just to illustrate how it works. The action type is Munity Mixer Control. Transition to Snapshot. Over one second, we'll switch to Quiet Music. This will happen when the player becomes disabled, so check it out. Very cool. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.